Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, this is Boisterous coming to you with some more from the Forum Key Cup Show Match series thingy from the SC2 forums. Anyway, spawning up here in the top left-hand corner, we do have Anesthetic as the Red Zerg on Antigua Shipyard. And over here in the top left-hand corner, or the top right-hand corner, God, I suck. We have Vin spawning in as the Blue Terran. And if at least one of you doesn't comment with, yeah, yeah, boisterous, you do suck. I'm going to be very disappointed in the internet. That's that's really what I expect out of you guys. I expect harsh, harsh insults. Uh, if, in fact, if that doesn't happen, again, very, very disappointed. Um, it's it's going to be rough. I'm going to be very sad. I'm probably going to go like cry in bed for a couple hours. Because I really won't know what else to do with my life. Anyway, this is, of course, a Masters League game. And you might be thinking... This was only supposed to be a best of three. Why are they playing another game? Because Vin won the first two. And I'll tell you why. Because Anesthetic wanted a rematch. Because those first two games were kind of face palmy. Just a little bit on the face. Like, like he, he walled out all of the drones from the top of the ramp in the second game. That's something that you want retribution for. That's something that you should be like... Yeah, uh, if we could play another couple games, that would be nice, because I don't want that to be the last game that we played, because that was pretty rough. I mean, it was hilarious, and I laughed at it, but it was pretty rough. We have Vin dropping his barracks uh, at the front of the base, being a little bit on the cautious side, as he does not know what his, character, what his opponent spawned in as. He now knows what his opponent spawned in as, and the hatchery has gone down at the natural. Uh, so we are seeing a 15 hatch come out from Anesthetic, which is a very nice play. Um, I like 15 hatches. So basically, uh, as Vin, we can see a couple things. We can see two racks pressure. We can see a bunker play. We might be able to see Reapers, but I'm not sure if he'll go Reaper versus Zerg. That's not the most efficient thing ever in the sense of the Queen upgrade. I mean, that it's it just gets sloppy as soon as Queens get out and all your Reapers die. Or we could see a Banshee Rush. I could really see any of those. At this point, the Banshee Rush is kind of out of the question because there's no uh, gas gone down at this point. At this point, you probably have one gas already gathering and a second gas building uh, and getting ready to be gathered. And without that, you know, Banshees are kind of off the table. It would appear that Anesthetic is building his hatchery at his natural, even though I already mentioned that. But I figured I would mention it again because it's kind of an important thing. You know, there's a hatchery at the natural. He went for 15 hatch. Was it, which is an extremely, I don't know if it's ball, it's not really ballsy, it's, economic, it's economically focused. Uh, it's kind of turned into a standard. And Vinsky bunker rushing. Yep. Alright, and nobody was surprised. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably one of the things to say here. Nobody at all was surprised. And we have two marines moving out across the map, along with a couple of, 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 of SCVs. And Anesthetic doesn't even really know that the Bunker Rush is there, but he knows it's there. He knows who's he, who he's playing. I'm not sure if he saw this train coming out across the map. I don't think he did, because the marine did have the, uh, did, did have the tower at that point. And it looks like two marines are going to be caught a little bit off guard. However, we are going to see them load up into the bunker and be perfectly fine. It looks like this bunker is now going down. Um, however, with this spine crawler here, he should be able to take it out without too much of an issue. It would appear those SCVs are going to be, or those marines are going to be extending out a little bit far. And this is not what you want to be doing with your zerglings. You want to be lifting this up. It's a little bit late to start moving it over, especially to a position like that. If you want to move it over, you should move it over to like here. And I'm not kidding about that. Um, however, it looks like we do have the uh, the bunker now finishing building. And it looks like we are seeing a little bit of a snipe going down on that on that spine crawler. And in fact, it was not canceled, which is definitely a little bit on the annoying side. We are going to see this hatchery taking quite a serious hit. These zerglings are doing quite the right thing in uh, in cutting off the uh, the resupply routes that the Terran is trying to establish. So we are going to see no more reinforcements most likely from our Terran player. It looks like Metabolic Boost is just about halfway done so those uh, those Zerglings are still a little bit away from uh, from popping open their Red Bull and getting their wings. I'm very surprised that he did not target down this Spine Crawler because he probably could have killed the Spine Crawler. However, it looks like he's going to be imagining, oh my god, the salvage. Oh my god. Wow, he got 75 minerals back for that, which I think just makes a, it about the bunker cost 100 because he did spend a lot of time repairing that with a marine. And of course, whenever you repair with a marine, it costs money. 
I'm not sure how many people actually know that off the top of their head, because a lot of people don't play Terran, a lot of people call repair OP, because, you know, it's ridiculous, and you can, you know, repair a building, and you can, you know, never die, you can't bust into the base, but every second they're repairing that building with 8 SCVs, it's like 16 minerals, I think. I mean, it costs quite a bit to repair it. Uh, you know, it, it's fairly expensive, especially when you're pulling all your SCVs off the line to do the repairing, you'll run out of money. Uh, it would appear that we do have the bunker going down, it does not in fact get salvaged, and it looks like Vin has gotten absolutely trashed as far as this harassment goes, which puts Anesthetic pretty far ahead. Um, he cleaned up the bunker rush with reasonably little losses, and oh, god damn it. Anesthetic, when you're in this situation, you don't go for Zerglings, you go for drones, you go for a third, you win the game on turtling. That's how you do it. It's very easy. You don't go for a Banley bust. You don't. Don't do that. Listen, if you're watching this, and you're ever in a situation like this, where you clean up the bunker rush, the guy doesn't have a natural down, um, you know, the natural's far, far later than yours is. Yours is already up, you can already saturate it at this point, because you have two queens. Just focus on your basics, re return to in your inner self, get peace in your inner self, get a third, win the game from Eco. Uh, that's really the only suggestion I can give. Uh, is you don't need to win with a bailing bust because somebody is going to see your bailing bust with their scouting barracks which you know they have and then they're going to build three bunkers and as soon as they get three bunkers this is an unbreakable position as far as bailing busts go you might be able to do reasonable damage to a couple of these bunkers you're not going to break this down in any way shape or form I, I, if you do, you're going to be dropping so much money into it that you might as well have just macroed and gone for Roaches or Roach Hydralisk or even Broodlord. It's gone through the super late gameplay. Because if you're playing against somebody like Vin, they do not have this sort of confidence going into the late game. I don't think. I don't know. I've never seen Vin play in the late game. So I really don't know. However, you know, we see every Zergling getting cleaned up to kill a bunker. I think that's all he killed. Literally all he killed. If we look at the units lost to him. All right, so maybe there was 19 units lost, but I think most of those were over here. Um, but I'm pretty sure all he killed was a bunker. He might have gotten one or two Marines, but he did not kill any of the bunkers. Oh, any of the Marines from the bunker he killed, he might have gotten, again, just one. Um, and it looks like we have the Banelings now morphing, and they are actually rallied to go right... Oh my god, why is he going in with Banelings with no Zergling support? This is such a bad idea. Ah. Oh, there's so many Marines. At this point, Vin can basically just counter push and win the game without an issue. But he is going for the smart thing. He's going for that starport. He is going to be getting his army quite strong before even attempting it. Because the Zerg is going to be pumping out units for the rest of this game. There is no way of switching into Eco from this point. You are completely and utterly all in as soon as you do something like this. Um, and, you know, that's definitely not a position you want to be in as a zerg in a game like this it's it's not you don't want to be there this is this is so bad i i don't think anesthetic is i hate to call the game this early but he's dead in the water look at the amount of marines here there's two medevacs at a time being pumped out he's going for the engineering bay he has plus one already on the way for his terran infantry there's a layer that's just started coming up literally three seconds ago so there is not going to be an investor for this push and without infestors, slow banelings are not going to connect with marines, especially without infestors and without creep spread. And that is, like, I, I do not know if there is a way. Even if you had, like, literally top-level micro. And these guys, they're pretty top-level. I mean, these are both Masters players. I really don't know if you can come back from that. Especially when he's dropping eight marines in your main base, because that's just awkward. Um when most of your army is out in the middle of the field and it looks like he is going to be pushing a little bit he is going to be building a couple more banelings and he's going to be going for another bust but it's really not worth it at all uh there is the drop now going down in the main base it would appear that this sounding factory is going to get a little bit of vision and there is the drop in the main base absolutely tearing up the drone line forcing everything back they're in a reasonably good position, especially versus, versus these Zerglings. As soon as the Banelings come up, they're going to be in a little bit of a bad position. However, you know, most of them are going to die to Zerglings as they take out just a large swath of these Zerglings to see how good the position is. Uh, there's, in fact, actually, maybe these Marines could live. There's a couple of Banelings running up there, but there is the GG from Anesthetic, and he calls the game right there. That's If you're Zerg in that position, don't all in. 
just just sit back a macro because honestly if he spends that much money to harass you and you clean it up with minimal drone losses i mean you cut some drones to get zerglings but other than that minimal drone losses you should be fine with just getting a third and fighting him near the 20 30 minute mark that's just where you want to go so anyway guys this is boisterous if you would like to check if you would like to check out any other games i've commented you can head over to youtube.com slash user slash boisterous sc2 also if you would like your games commented you can send them on to you can send them on in to boisterous sc2 at gmail.com i'd like to thank you all for watching and this is boisterous signing out